What is the one thing that could screw up your designs the most? Or in other words, what is the one thing you have to get right every single time? What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today I'm going to be asking the question, what is the one thing that you think screws up a user interface design the most? All right, so you've heard me talk about it a lot, UI design fundamentals of which there's several, probably about seven or eight, depending on who you ask. That's color and contrast, that's white space, that's alignment and proximity, that's scale, that's topography. We're gonna ask, what is the one thing that can really have the ability to screw up design the most? And we're gonna do this by taking this single design right here, and you could check this person, Mohammed Shahag, I, I've left the link here. I, I just found this on Dribbble, it was just a free XD template. We're gonna take this design right here, and we're gonna screw up each one of those things, uh, leaving all the other elements, you know, good to go and we're gonna see which which thing do you really need to make sure you nail otherwise it's going to have the biggest potential to screw up your design the most all right so let's go ahead and get started but wait one second you're about to watch me talk about UI design fundamentals but what if I told you you could become a UI design pro by taking my UI design bootcamp at scrimba.com at scrimba you don't just watch videos no 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 you're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn my course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So visit the very first line in the description of this YouTube video to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. All right, so here is the original design. Uh, works pretty well, looks pretty decent. Um, I did uh, update it slightly um, from the original, which is linked here in the description, but anyhow, Let's check out the very first one, and that is going to be typography. Now, these are in no particular order, um, but as you can see, I really jacked up <laughs> the typography here. Um, so a number of different things are happening. I changed two different uh, font pairings, so the typefaces are different, um, and if you, if you screw that up, it really throws off your typography quite a lot. I also screwed up the, uh, the line height. Um, really excessive line right here, but a little, you know, very little here. Um, so they're kind of reversed and they're really just messed up. I use italic down here for this one, um, which, you know what, in and of itself, that doesn't look bad, but it's not consistent with anything else. Um, really small typeface down here, you can hardly see. So if we compare it with the original, yeah, it hurts the design quite a bit. Uh, hopefully we agree. So let's check out the next one. Here's the original, and this is going to be scale. All right, so scale, obviously, this kind of plays into visual hierarchy as well. So I, I think scale has the biggest impact on visual hi hierarchy as opposed to anything else. So if you don't know, visual hierarchy is basically, you know, leading the eye to where you want it to see <laughs> based on um, the more important elements. So scale is one of the factors that you use to influence visual hierarchy. Uh, you can also use all the other fundamentals like color and contrast, uh, white space, uh, alignment proximity and stuff like that. But scale, as you can see, you're just kind of not really sure where you're supposed to look first. Yeah, probably this big button, that's a call to action. Um, but as far as the type and everything, you don't know where you're supposed to look. Now, if we compare screwing up the scale versus screwing up typography, this compared to this, this one looks better. So I would say, I hate to place emphasis or priority over one fundamental over the other, but I have to say typography, you really have to make sure you get that one nailed down because it has a bigger potential to screw up your design as compared to scale uh, in, in probably most instances. So let's check out the next one. Here's the original and here is alignment. All right, so if we go back to the original, you know, everything's on a nice alignment. Like there's a single column here that runs straight down. And then we have a, a, a second section down here where everything is just centered. So the alignment is good. And then this is what happens. And I've seen people do this. Uh, there's a, a column that's created visually. Uh, you, you don't see the column itself, but there's a column that run, runs down when you create uh, an element somewhere. 
Um, and when there's a bunch of them, like this one's here, this one's indented a little bit more, this one's further indented, these two are on the same column, but then this one's indented. This one just starts over here randomly, and then this one over here, we have uh, these little headlines right here that are centered, everything else is left aligned. It looks like garbage. Uh, and when you consistently apply your alignment, it makes it look so much better. All right, let's check out the next one. Original, and then here is white space. All right, so alignment and white space kind of go hand in hand because where you're aligning things will affect the white space naturally. Um, but notice how in terms of alignment, everything's still on the same column for the most part. Uh, everything's centered still. So the alignment is good here, but the white space is thrown off. We have all this big white space, very little white space here on the very edge, but we have a lot over here. So it's an inconsistent application of white space. And so we go back to the, uh, not that one, you don't wanna see that one yet. We go back to uh, the original right here. This is how much it's screwed up. All right, so next one, contrast. So that's another one of these UI design fundamentals that we have to nail down. Now this one, more so than any of the others, affects accessibility the most. So I, when it comes to getting your contrast right, and I talk about this all the time, you have to make sure that you adhere to minimum contrast uh, ratios. So I, if you're not sure what I mean, a WCAG 2.0 color contrast guidelines. Type that up in Google and you'll learn about you know how to create uh, contrast that is going to be accessible to most people. And there's, uh, there's something called AA and AAA, um, and then there's also color contrast checkers for Figma and XD, also for your browser that are built in within DevTools, and also even plugins that you can use as well. So make sure you get your contrast right. So here's the original, and then here's screwing up the contrast. So it's still, visually, it's still not horrible looking because uh, everything else is working for it pretty well. Uh, I'd say a few of the other fundamentals probably were worse. Um, so let's check out the very final one right here. This is color. So I've seen websites like this uh, with just terrible color. And of course, the colors that you use can also affect the contrast depending on what that color is sitting on, like what background. Now here, the contrast actually isn't that bad based on the color choices, but the colors don't work very well with each other. We have this pink and then we have this blue. We have this different shade of blue over here. Uh, we have a pukey color. They don't really go well together. Um, we have a red sh drop shadow from this blue button. We have this uh, red border, which is, kind of a, a no-no because you don't want to outline form elements in red unless you know you didn't enter information correctly. So there's just a lot of issues here and it looks terrible. So let's go through all these real quick, only the, the actual bad, the bad ones. And you ask yourself, what do you think is the one that really looks the worst? So here's the first one, topography. Here is a lack of scale. Here is bad alignment bad white space, bad contrast, and bad color. Uh, maybe it was a little bit hard to look, but let's, let's see to see you know which one you think it is, but here they all are laid out next to each other. Which one is the worst here? Well, I don't know about you, but I have to say the one that lo looks the absolute worst is going to be color. If you screw up the color, you're really affecting every pixel that you see. I uh, depending on you know if you're changing the entire background color. So if I go here to design and I change the background color to white, all of a sudden it's not as bad. Uh, but if you have a bad background color or if the majority of the pixels on the screen, it doesn't have to be the background of the website or anything. If the majority of the pixels are just bad color look at that. I mean, if somebody did that, which I don't think I've ever seen anybody do something quite this bad, but I have seen, you know, I've seen this. I've seen stuff like this that's just horrible, like gray. Anything mid-gray 
on a, on a background, like a colored background with a decent saturation, looks horrible every time, 100% of the time. So for me, out of all of these, it is color that you really need to nail right. I, it, it, all these other ones, yeah, they, they're, they're pretty bad, but nothing really touches <laughs> the absurdity of bad color. So that is my recommendations to you. Um, you don't necessarily have to focus on color first, but make sure you understand how to apply good color. And more often than not, just a quick tip, keep it simple. Don't try to mix a bunch of colors. Just because Google does it doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean that you can do it too. They do it in their logo primarily. Everything else is pretty much consistent. Uh, make sure you use a primary color and it's a color that contrasts well with your background of your website and also perhaps a secondary color and learn how to use them appropriately. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. I know I did. Now, of course, you have to focus on all the UI design fundamentals. This was just sort of a fun video. If you agreed with me or disagreed, let me know in the comments. Give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>